If you happen to write hybrid orchestral music, you will need punchy sound design elements that distinct your productions from the traditional orchestral sound. Cinematic Tools Zenith promises to help out with that big time. These trailer elements are largely responsible for that cinematic feel of epic or trailer music and are incredibly popular among modern composers for a reason, as each of them serves a very specific purpose. Take a boom, for example which typically adds energy or emphasis to the beginning of a new bar or phrase. Downers collapse our soundscape to silence. Before a riser catapults us into a huge climax. This type of contrast ensures maximum impact and is a secret source for every trailer composer. Whooshes are great transition devices. And paired with an impact, they're often called whoosh banks or hits. Cinematic Tools is a newcomer to the sample library industry and they've just released their debut library, Zenith, the modern trailer archetype. Zenith promises out-of-the-box, hard-hitting sounds that add power, impact and punch to any production. Let's see what it can do. The link is in the description. Zenith comes with a whole bunch of cinematic trailer effects, supported by both synthesized and sampled percussion, basses and brahms, and more complex tracers and transitions. Some of the booms have a little whoosh, and others start directly at the impact. In any case, you can activate the playback from the impact with one click, so you can quantize your booms to the grid. They're straightforward and very useful. I don't know why, but I often struggle to find booms that don't have crazy stuff happening all over the place. These booms are plain and they're good. There are impacts, which I interpret as tight and punchy boom slash hit hybrids that can be played as drums or even layered with them. The hits or whoosh banks can be played with an accompanying whoosh or straight from the bang. And we got an additional set of transitory whooshes without hit. The overall style of these trailer effects is tight, modern, and quite neutral, meaning that it doesn't imply a certain subgenre, like aggressive industrial or ambient sci fi. It hits a sweet spot in the middle. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes tracks just need to be ramped up to the epic scale. For that, Zenith comes with Brahms. Risers. Downers and Brass Benders. Don't forget to turn on the reverb to make them at least twice as large. I really like the hybrid tracers. These are atmospheric sweeteners that can be perfectly layered with the impact of a Brahm. There's a set of 15 finished transitions. These are a tempo-synced toolkit of pre-arranged stutters, hits and other effects combined to help out if we have another tight deadline or as inspiration to create our own custom sound design. They sound absolutely fantastic, and all I wish was that there was a bit more of them. Zenith's synth section covers distorted basses, drones, and hybrid pads.
some leads or even synth plugs to layer with my strings ostinatos would have been a great addition in my opinion. But thanks to the capable engine, we can build our own within seconds, as I will show hands-on in just a bit. The Epic Trailer Kit has hard-hitting drum hits in multiple velocities. I really like that they added a fast playing button that removes some of the low end build up when playing quick passages. Layering this one with organic drum sounds works very well for extra punchiness. We have ticks and tocks that can be used for dramaturgic effects, as hi-hats or shaker-style percussion. I personally like using my DAW step recorder to come up with interesting percussion patterns on my own, but it would still be great to see some preset loops maybe included in the future. For percussion, there's sound-designed kicks, snares, electronic hats and 808s, and organic samples of acoustic cymbals as well as additional percussion. Zenith's user interface ticks all the boxes for me. It's large, modern and beautiful, simple and intuitive to use, and offers lots of useful functionality. On the main page, we select the presets and have various options to control the sound. We can add high and low pass filters, different types of reverb and delays, and adjust the sample envelope with attack, delay, sustain and release sliders. You can do some pretty awesome things right from this first page. Take a simple hybrid pad, for example, play it back from somewhere in the middle and turn on the release. Now, add a bit of reverb and you cut yourself an atmospheric custom synth. You can play polyphonically or even have a glide transition between notes. Right in the middle, you've got the big main knob that adds slight multi-effects like saturation, top-end polish and a bit of cleanup in the mid-frequencies. Cinematic tools say that in many libraries, they find that the main knob tends to add too much compression or distortion. So they wanted to make it a bit more subtle and usable. I have to say, I agree. This one is very subtle though. The effects page offers a large array of processing modules for saturation, distortion and further tweaking. Six of them can be chained and then saved as a preset for quick access later on. A stutter engine with three automatable lanes allow us to control volume, filter and pan. Here you can add movement to the sound by adding patterns and manipulating the way they are played back. There's a maximum of 16 steps with straight and triplet timings available.
Zenith is a rock-solid tool for cinematic trailer sound design. The samples are of fantastic quality and indeed enhance every hybrid orchestral or trailer composer's sound repertoire. It covers all of the usual trailer effects, plus offers some pretty cool drums and percussion options on top. And the pre-made transitions are awesome. The interface is simple and clear enough to motivate me processing the sounds with effects and customize them to my own liking, without being overwhelmed by choice. Experimentation really pays off here. Take the hybrid pads and turn them into ambient plugs ready to be layered with your favorite strings library. Combine the epic trailer kit or the impacts with organic drums for extra oomph and let the hybrid tracers be an atmospheric extension of a bra. Lots of tweaking options here, but at the same time it's all manageable and beginner-friendly. Zenith's general, modern and punchy sound design makes it usable for most genres of hybrid orchestral music and in my opinion would make a great first purchase for a trailer sound design library that covers a lot of ground, where other libraries contain a lot of crazy stuff that personally I haven't seen myself using yet, this one is a good choice as a competent generalist that comes at an appealing enterprise. Here's a little demo piece I wrote with Zenith. It's Zenith only. Check out Zenith with link down below and boop that like button on the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.